Hello everyone, welcome to Ashok IT. My name is Ashok. In this video, we are going to understand what are DevOps tools and what is the purpose of each tool. Let's get started. First one, Maven. Maven we will call as build tool. Maven is used to automate build process of our application like downloading the dependencies of the project, compiling the source code, executing unit test cases and packaging the project as a jar file or war file. Those tasks can be automated by using Maven. Second one is Git. Git we are going to use as version control software. Project development team will store their source code into Git repository. We need to take the code from the GitHub repository to perform our DevOps operations. Git we are going to call as repository software. Third one. We are going to use Sonar Cube. Sonar Cube is used for code review. When developers has done the coding, we need to perform the review of that code and we need to share that code review report. If any issues are there in that, developers are responsible to fix those issues. Code review purpose we are going to use Sonar Cube. And the next one, Nexus. Nexus we are going to use as Artifactory Server. Project build files we are going to store in the Nexus repository. When we compile and package our project by using Maven, it is going to generate a jar file or war file. The jar or war we can store in the Nexus repository and project shared libraries. Some common libraries will be available for multiple projects. Those shared libraries we can maintain in the Nexus repository. And the next one, we are going to use Apache Tomcat. Apache Tomcat is a web server which is used to run our Java web applications. Every web application will run inside a server. Apache Tomcat we can call as a web server. Next, Jenkins. Jenkins is called as CI-CD tool which is used for continuous integration and continuous deployment. Whatever the build project, build process we are doing, code review process and build artifact, code deployment, whatever the operations we are doing manually by using this, everything can be automated by using this Jenkins. Jenkins is the most important tool for every DevOps engineer. Build automation, project build and deployment automation process can be done by using Jenkins. And the next one, we are going to use Terraform. Terraform is called as infrastructure as a code. Whatever the infrastructure we need for our project, instead of creating the infrastructure, infrastructure in the sense, the machines that are required, the storage services that are required, or the databases that are required, instead of we are creating that infrastructure manually, we can automate the infrastructure creation by using Terraform. Terraform will support for almost all the cloud platforms available in the market. Next one is Ansible. Ansible is called as configuration management software. What is configuration management? So let's assume that in our project we are having 100 machines. We are using 100 machines to maintain infrastructure of our application. In all the 100 machines I want to do OS patching or I want to install some software in 100 machines. I want to uninstall some software from 100 machines. Doing that operation manually is very difficult and time taking process. That kind of manual work we can automate by using Ansible. It is called configuration management software. And the next one, the most important part for DevOps operations, Docker. Docker we are going to use as containerization platform in order to run our applications as a containers. In order to manage the Docker containers, we are going to use Kubernetes. Kubernetes is called as orchestration platform. Applications will execute as a containers. Those containers management like creating the containers, scale up the containers, scale down the containers, recreate the containers. That kind of management work can be done by using Kubernetes. Along with these things, we are going to use some monitoring tools also like Grafana, Prometheus, Grafana, Prometheus are used to monitor our Kubernetes cluster and the containers which are running in the cluster can be monitored by using these things. And next one, for application logs monitoring, we are going to use ELK. ELK is a combination of three products, Elasticsearch, Logstash and Kibana. Elasticsearch is used to store the logs. 
log stash will collect the logs from all the nodes in the from the cluster and will store in the el in the elastic search kibana will provide the ui to get the logs of our application along with these things we are going to use negios negios is used to monitor our application and application performance so these are the several tools that we are going to use in our project devops operations i hope you understood this video thanks for watching please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates thank you